So um, the San Diego is looking to unwind Prop B, which basically uh, eliminated pensions for all city employees. Uh, the mayor, mayor recently said that that's been one of the biggest challenges in attracting talent to the city of San Diego. A lot of city employees will leave and go to other cities like Chula Vista, where they still have a pension. Um, so that, that has been overturned, and it looks like the city is going to have to pay at least $80 million to, to reverse course on that. Um, so to have to create retroactive pensions for 3,800 workers, um, you know, and it's still unknown what's going to happen to 1,500 people who uh, have left city jobs. So, uh, but they're looking at it being at least 80 million, almost more than 100 million, um, to unwind all the damage caused by the pension cuts, which are were overturned by the Supreme Court four years ago. Um, so, moving along, uh, it is the uh, Lunar New Year, uh, and is the year of the tiger. So, just. Uh, Heads up there, uh, City Heights is going to be having uh, several festivities over the next three days. Um, here's an interesting opinion piece. Uh, I'll share it if anybody's interested in reading, but it, it's essentially it's saying that San Diego needs to grow and that's okay. There's a lot of pushback against growth, but you know, if we actually want to solve the housing crisis, uh, we're going to have to you know, become a better city in the process. Uh, there's an interesting graph here. Um, the yellow line is the amount of units needed. And then the little gray line down at the bottom is the actual construction starts. Um, you know, so obviously we're, there's a big gap there, but anyone interested in the article, I can share it in the chat. Moving along. The Airbnb ordinance is supposed to take place before summer. A lot of Airbnb operators are, are kind of already booking going out through the summer. And it, there's a lot of uncertainty with the lottery. And now city staff is saying that they're not going to be able to meet the deadline. Um, so it leaves a lot of uh, short-term vacation rental operators in limbo. Um, a lot of them are just booking out through the summer or, uh, and just rolling the dice on what it is the city does. The rules are supposed to go in effect July 1st. Um, the council isn't expected, uh, the Coastal Commission isn't expected to weigh in until March. Um, and, and their blessing is required for anything to really even take place in the uh, coastal area. Um, you know, it, it could delay the effective date until December. Uh, so Airbnb operators may get another full year before having to go into the lottery system. Uh, they thought that July 1st would be a perfect time, but it's also 4th of July weekend and a lot of operators are already booking that out. So keep you posted, um, but I, I, it's looking more and more like it won't take place in July and it may get delayed until December. We'll, we'll see what actually happens. Uh, the city of San Diego has installed the bike counter on 30th Street. 30th Street has caused a lot of controversy when they eliminated a lot of parking and, and traffic lanes to create bicycle lanes. Now, thanks to a lot of complaints from the city, the city has actually installed counters to see how many bicycles actually use 30th Street. Um, so keep an eye on it. If you're an actual fan of the bike lanes on 30th, make sure you ride your bike a lot because uh, they're counting it. And if you're not, then most people don't ride their bike. But we'll see what the data shows and what the city does with it. Uh, but they have installed a, a counter for the bikes on 30th Street. Hey, who do we complain to about not doing that before they actually installed the bike lanes? I mean, right? <laughs> So the, uh, the city has gotten, it's received $19 million to hire about a thousand people from the state and is targeting jobs for young people ages 16 to 30th. I, you know, the target money is supposed to be for foster youth, recently released teens from custody, former gang members, ideas to give them skills to have more successful careers. Um, it's called the Californians for All Youth Job Corps Program. Uh, not only will they earn a paycheck, at least $15 an hour, but they'll be giving back to the community as most of the, the jobs are all community focused um, opportunities. So um, jobs for our underserved youth. Moving on, uh, San Diego City Council did approve changes to the inclusionary housing law. Uh, and it's mostly gonna impact the, the coastal area. Um, so it's gonna, as you know, previously reported, it's gonna require more low income housing in a development um, at 60% area median income, which is about 72,000 for a family of four. Um, you know, it, it, it will, um, you know, be impacted by the 30 foot coastal zone height limit. 
Um, and you know, obviously small scale developments in the coastal area will be um, you know, impacted more if it's a, there's, there's less units to, to spread it across, but um, moving along. A lot of areas along around the city have um, had their underground utility projects um, paused, halted, uh, et cetera. Uh, La Jolla is one of those areas. Uh, these are projects that are already approved, already in process, and they just put a pause on them because of the pandemic. Um, the, the committee, the environment committee, put, basically took a step forward to revive it and approved a memorandum of understanding with the city and SCGE. Um, so, you know. Three parts of La Jolla will start getting their underground projects continued. And the project actually of undergrounding started in 1970, uh, but there's still over a thousand miles of overhead lines to put, to put underground. So it's been a 50 year project and there's still a thousand miles of undergrounding to go, but um, it, it is moving forward. Um, that's good. City of San Diego is spending $8 million on an ad campaign that's going to promote San Diego as a go-to tourist destination. Uh, so the tourism authority is planning to spend $8 million, uh, and the campaign is called Happy and You Know It. Uh, clap your hands. No. <laughs> um, that's, that's the creative name they came up for an $8 million campaign. Uh, my two-year-old came up with it, and she's not getting royalties. <laughs> You're happy and you know it. Clap your hands. Moving along. Um, Four men were arrested at the San Diego Zoo on the Skyfari tram. We had actually planned on going to the zoo to ride it that evening and we got busy and never made it. Good thing uh, people were stuck up there for over two hours and uh, fire rescue had to get people off. Turns out that it was four Marines that decided to rock the cart so much that it shut down the ride and turned it 100 riders that are all now facing criminal charges, both through the military and uh, through the, the county. Anyhow, um, yeah, don't rock the carts at the Zoom. Moving along, um, Councilmember Campillo, who's a representative on Sandag, is urging the Sandag to pri prioritize suicide barriers for the Colorado Bridge. Uh, you know, yeah, I live near the bridge, and you know, every couple of months, you'll see a bunch of police lights and traffic stopped, and you just know that somebody's up on the bridge again. So they're, they're looking at prioritizing making barriers uh, on the bridge. Um, you know, what obviously one of the challenges with that is how do you make safe barriers that don't block the iconic views, right? And just in Coronado this past weekend, and it's always just amazing to drive over the bridge and just see the, the coastline of the island and and, so on. and um, you know, looking back on downtown as you come back into San Diego. So um, it, it is, um, you know, interesting to see if they'll divert $25 million um, to, to be used for a suicide barrier that was originally um, set for a tunnel, but we'll, we'll see if, if that gets approved. Moving on, um, the county did pass a new program that will allow people to sell food from their home kitchens. That program begins next month. Um, so. You know, it, it, there will be an ordinance that, that will allow uh, home kitchens to operate and sell food. Um, there, there will be a food safety certificate and allowable food storage areas and, and water testing. Uh, and there'll be limits to the number of micro kitchens allowed in each residence. Um, so, you know, it, it will, um, it is moving along. There is going to be regulations. A lot of people were asking about well, what's going to happen, who's going to monitor the safety. All of that is being put in place. Um, you know, the idea is to create small economic opportunities. There is a cap on it, so you can't go and have a multi uh, six figure generating food business out of your house. That would be called a restaurant. Uh, but for people who want a side income and you know want to bake a cake here and there and, and sell food on Fridays and you know, small scale operations uh, is exactly what this is, is looking to do is create uh, this opportunity at this small scale. Uh, it is an annual cap of earning $50,000. Um, we'll, we'll see how that's handled. I'm sure everyone's going to have a discount for cash, but, <laughs> um, but the technical limit is $50,000. Um, 
Moving along, it is museum month. So several places you can go and get a discounted museum pass. Um, you know, they're the passes are available for free at all Macy store locations in San Diego County and can be picked up at 75 public libraries countywide, um, which include uh, libraries managed by the counties, City of San Diego, Carlsbad Library, Chula Vista, Coronado, Escondido, National City, and Oceanside. Um, and you can see the, the list of museums at this link that I will uh, share in the chat as well. And finally, here's just a cool story about the Diego athletes that the Winter Olympics in Beijing. And there is, um, interesting, I think the San Diego would be the place for summer sports, but there's actually athletes here that are participating in bobsledding and snowboarding. Um, so a snowboarder, Sean White, uh, woman snowboard, uh, bobsledder, and that's it. <laughs> Three athletes from the eighth largest city in the country, but hey, it's, it's San Diego. You can't expect too much in the Winter Olympics, right? So anyhow, I will share a couple of links, one to the uh, housing article and the other to um, the Museum Month um, discount card. Thanks, everybody.